Yesterday fucking sucked. Not physically, just one of those days where mentally, emotionally, motivationally, basically anything that doesn't have to do with physical sucks. It was one of those days. And I don't know why I just woke up like that in the morning. And, you know, in the morning, I'm always more motivated, more positive, more optimistic. I went for a walk in the park. I recorded a video. And, you know, that last video that's on my channel that I uploaded was recorded yesterday. And being outside, being in nature, being in the sun and everything, it did help make me feel better. But deep down, there was still that sensation of crappiness and unmotivation and all that stuff going on. And the thing is, I had no idea where that was coming from because for the last couple of months, I've been very happy, optimistic, positive. I have faith. Everything's going to be great. And yeah, I still believe that, but sometimes there are just days that suck where you kind of lose that. And yesterday was one of those days. And as the day progressed, it just got worse and worse. And of course, that is the exact day. Ironically enough, however, I want to point that out. Ironically enough, it was the 20 month anniversary of when I first asked my now wife to be my girlfriend. And also, ironically, today happens to be our wedding anniversary, officially five months that we've been married. So. Yesterday and today are both significant days. So anyway, back to the crappy story from yesterday. So yesterday uh, also happened to be the day that my wife told me certain things that people close to her in her life told her that really affected her. I don't want to go into details. It is not my place to share that information out of respect for her. I will not say any more. But let's just say it fucking pissed me off. I really, really did not like the fact that people who are important in my wife's life would say things like that to her. Now I get that they love her. I get that they're only trying to help. However, in extreme situations like this, there are things that you just don't say to people. As an example, things like you know, you should probably prepare yourself for the worst. That way it's not going to be as painful when he dies, as an example. Shit like that, I fucking hate it when people say that. Say it to me. You can believe whatever you want about me. You can say whatever you want to me. I know that I am stubborn enough to believe whatever the fuck I want to believe and what you or anybody else says or thinks will not affect me. But you better not fucking come after my wife because I will fucking destroy you. I don't care who you are. So yes, I am being extreme. I am swearing. The reason why I am like this is because I know one of the most important things in my life right now, the main reason why I am so convinced that I will survive this even though all the odds are stacked against me, is because of my wife. I've mentioned this concept multiple times that she is my cure. The reason why she is, and the reason why I was reminded of that by the universe yesterday, was because I know that she cannot handle losing me. Now, I know that sounds selfish of like, oh, my wife can't live without me. But it's like, no, that is my greatest source of motivation because I know that if I die, that will destroy her. So as a result of that, I simply cannot die. It is not an option. That is what I mean when I say she's my cure. Because my death would destroy her, I simply cannot die. I cannot, I will not. Because if you've ever been through anything extreme, and cancer, especially terminal cancer, is the most, well, one of the most extreme things you can go through, there will always be times where you get to the point where simply staying alive for yourself is not enough. You need an external source of motivation, something outside yourself to keep you alive. To me, that is my wife. And yesterday, being reminded of that 
being reminded of the knowledge that my wife cannot handle me dying, that motivated me so much. And that is why I had a crappy day yesterday. All day I'm like, I don't understand why the universe is doing this. It doesn't make sense. What is the benefit of this? And then everything happened and at the end of the day, it clicked and I realized this is why it happened. This is the perfect reminder that I needed. And the fact that yesterday was, you know, our couple anniversary, I like to call it, when we first became a couple. And the fact that today is our wedding anniversary, it's just like the timing is too perfect. This happened exactly the way it needed to, when it needed to, and that is why I'm sharing it. Because this reminder was so powerful to me. Yesterday's video, I was talking about, you know, my other source of motivation. <laughs> You know, the whole concept of, it's funny because I'm so in the moment, so in this experience, so in this story that I'm trying to remember what yesterday's video was about and I can't. So let me cheat. I have a list of videos and stuff like that that I wanted to make and it's still on the list. So let me just check just to make sure. So yesterday's video was, um, yeah, okay. Why it's such an important statement that no one has ever survived stage four of alveolar soft pot sarcoma. Like I've mentioned that throughout my videos and I made a video specifically about that yesterday. Given the day that I had yesterday, it's just ironic that I would share that video. So it's like that is one of my greatest source of motivation. The other one is my wife and everything I just explained in this video. So it's just ironic to me that I start the day making that video, then pretty much the entire day goes to shit. It just sucks. My wife tells me stuff that really pisses me off. And then I'm reminded, oh, okay. It's because those two things are my greatest sources of motivation. Number one, that was, that would always be the case. Number one is my wife. I must, and I will stay alive for her. And number two, well, aside from, from being stubborn, <laughs> but number two is from that storytelling perspective of just it's such a powerful story to be able to say, I was the first person out of 8 billion people to survive stage four of this. That motivates me so much. So it's like everything that happened yesterday and the timing of today and everything is just like another reminder from the universe. Everything is perfect. Everything happens exactly the way that it's supposed to. And I just want to put this out there. If you're going through any kind of difficult situation, whether it's cancer or something else, or someone near you is going through that, please try to remember this. As weird as this seems, you can't listen to anyone when you're going through something this extreme. You have to become so single-mindedly focused and stubborn that it doesn't matter what is real and what is not. I much prefer lying to myself, convincing myself that I will survive when in fact I will not and end up dying than just giving up and spending the last months or years of my life expecting to die. Because that to me sounds like a horrible way to go. I much prefer believing with every single core of my being or fiber of my being that I will survive and be wrong. That is just who I am. I don't believe that is what's going to happen. In fact, I know that it's not what's going to happen because I have those powerful sources of motivation. I have my wife. I have that storytelling perspective. But more important, but not more importantly, sorry, but I don't want to downplay the importance of you need to believe in yourself and your ability to get better. That, that is such a big part of healing. So if you're going through anything, I just want to put that out there and not everyone's going to agree with me and that is perfectly fine. But to me, that is 1000% what I believe. And if that can help just one person out there, all these videos I've been making is going to be worth it. That being said, I'm going to stop this video because I'm almost out of time and I feel like I've been very, very extreme and forceful in this video. but. Every once in a while, that's just the mindset and the emotions that I'm going through. And this was one of those videos. So hopefully the next one's a little more positive and uplifting.